To a Bixby teen recovering in the hospital after a hit and run on Monday. Fox 23 told you police were looking for a truck seen leaving the scene. Since then, we have heard from a number of you who wanted to know why the city's security cameras were not working. New at 9, Fox 23's Lynn Casey reporting live with what she's found out. Lynn. The city manager says there are two camera systems out here. The first you can see those are linked to the traffic signals. Those are working just fine. The other system throughout the city, you can see one of them right here. Those are meant for security and those need replacing. 16 year old Tanner Booher has hit a few road bumps in his recovery this week. We learned on top of the injuries he's already sustained that now we found out he has a couple fractured ribs. Tanner's family learned the security camera at 131st and Memorial wasn't working. I know from talking to police a couple years ago, they were trying to get the whole system upgraded or replaced. We're really hoping that whoever did that is brought to justice. City Councilor Rich Stewart says he wishes it could help the Booher family, but the cameras will be replaced. We had a vote August 25th. There was a vote, a bond initiative went before the people of Bixby that addressed things such as street repairs, public safety. The public safety part has money earmarked for those cameras. Stewart says having the extra eyes around town will help out law enforcement a lot. It's very valuable. You know, when it's just the day and age we live in, you know, cameras, security, um, citizens expect that. The Boohers say even though it won't help them find the driver of that truck, they're glad it's being taken care of. That's the important thing. It would be really great to have those cameras back up in case, God forbid, something like this happens in the future to another family. Now they are still ho hoping for help from the public. Tanner was hit right here at this intersection at a busy, very busy time of day. It was 345 in the evening, and they're hoping that anyone who saw that accident will tell police. Reporting live in Bixby, covering news that matters, I'm Lynn Casey, Fox 23 News.